Sri Lanka's Muslim community celebrate the holy festival of Ramazan today, which marks the end of the 40-day period of fasting, prayer and reflection. This year, the fasting period commenced on the 12th of April and ended today following the official sighting of the crescent moon, which is traditionally proclaimed officially by the Colombo Grand Mosque. On Wednesday, the Colombo Grand Mosque announced today as the day of the festival. However, this year's festivities have been dampened by the introduction of island-wide travel restrictions from 11 p.m. last night, leaving Sri Lanka's Muslims to restrict their celebrations to their immediate families only. With that, President Gotabaya Rajapaksa issued his customary Eid greetings to the country's Muslim community. In his message, the President says that the social value of celebrating the holy month of Ramazan together, regardless of differences in status as a religious custom, is one that is highly praiseworthy. The President added that he has no doubt that during this year's festival, the wish for humanity to be free of the COVID-19 pandemic would be key among the wishes of the Muslim community. Further, the head of state says that the reconciliation revealed by Sri Lanka to the rest of the world through its efforts to build peace and brotherhood among the communities is a great example to the entire Muslim world. In conclusion, the President added that he believes that the true Islamic devotees would collectively commit themselves with added determination to further strengthen harmony in the country. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksa stated that it is his belief that by having a correct idea of the hunger of others during the fasting period, Muslims will commit themselves for charitable deeds without any differences. The Premier added that throughout history, the Muslim people, who have been disciplined in correct religious teachings, have interacted with other races and religions in Sri Lankan society. Further, the Prime Minister expressed hope that despite the inability to celebrate the Eid rituals in a festive manner this year, due to the global COVID-19 pandemic, religious rituals would be performed within the limits of the country's health guidelines. The Premier also took the opportunity to appreciate the contribution of all Muslims who avoided gathering in large numbers at mosques for worship during the fasting period, chose to perform religious rites in the safety of their homes. Dasana kanti chumne sahita, liver aish tantale pe, datwala eti krasna dahaya kwalakai.